If you have a Tesla with autopilot two or above, you might wonder why your Tesla doesn't actually read speed limit signs when you pass them and update the posted speed limit on your display. Well, there's a very interesting reason as to why that is that most people don't know. Let's break it down. So before we do that, we've got to do our due diligence and take care of our people for 2019 in our referral raffle. Open browser. All right, so we've got our names in here. We do this real time or real time relative to this video. No special cuts, no tricks. We've got a list of names here of awesome people. Thank you so much for your support for our channel. Thank you so much for using our referral code. You could use anyone's referral code, but you used ours. So we appreciate it. We wanna show that appreciation right now. So let's spin that wheel right now. That was a close one. I didn't know it was gonna to go to, but Jennifer, congratulations. Congratulations, you're the winner of the 2019 referral raffle. Let's now see what you've won. All right, guys, let's see what Jennifer has won. She's got a lot of prizes up here. Uh, Model 3 key fob, all weather mats, die cast Model 3, black Tesla, of course. We've got the, the black Tesla hoodie the black Tesla sweatshirt and the black Tesla snapbacks. Let's spin that wheel one more time, make it happen. All right, you got that black Tesla sweatshirt ready to go. Jennifer, reach out to us on Twitter, on YouTube, uh, and we'll get your contact information and get that right out to you. Thanks again so much. Now let's get back to it. If you have a Tesla built after 2016, you likely have hardware two or higher. Well, surprise, surprise, your car doesn't actually read speed limit signs. I know, it's shocking, right? Instead, what it does is utilize GPS-based speed limit zones to display what the posted speed limit is on a given road. Now, while this works great in most scenarios, there are a lot of times where the zones are incorrect or when there are other speed limit signs that supersede the posted speed limit. So what gives? Why can't your state-of-the-art Tesla, even with hardware three and full self-driving enabled, read speed limit signs? Well, the answer is simply Mobileye. Mobileye is an Israeli-based subsidiary of Intel that develops vision-based self-driving and advanced driver assistance features and provides its technology to a majority of major auto manufacturers. They are arguably the leader in vision-based autonomous systems, and as such, they actually have a patent on using cameras to read speed limit signs. This is the reason that your post-2016 Tesla can't use its camera to display the appropriate speed limit signs. Here's a quick look at the patent and what it says. Now, notice I said post 2016. That's because Tesla cars built between late 2014 and late 2016 have what's known as Autopilot One or Hardware One, which actually uses mobilized hardware. That's right, before Mobileye was acquired by Intel, it was working very closely with Tesla in its mission to accomplish vision-based full self-driving. Autopilot One cars actually read speed limit signs and process them once they pass by them and update the speed prompt accordingly. Now, while the Tesla and Mobileye partnership ultimately ended in a pretty public manner, the two companies went their separate ways, but still pushing towards the same direction of full self-driving with a vision-based system. So, unless Tesla works out a deal with Mobileye or develops a new way to get around the specifications of this patent, your Tesla just simply won't be able to read speed limit signs with its cameras. This is truly a bummer because reading signs is critical for the success of full self-driving, and this feature alone might be a contributing factor to setting Tesla and others back even further from delivering. However, let's not get too discouraged, uh, and let's not count Tesla out just yet. I'm sure they have some tricks up their sleeve, 
and they'll be able to find a workaround to this. And I'm eager to see what that might be. And I'm also eager to see when that might come to fruition. So now you know why your Tesla isn't quite able to read speed limit signs just yet. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and your experiences with just the GPS based or satellite based speed zones or with the hardware one mobile eye hardware. And until the next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your Tesla.